Welcome to 2023. We're gonna check out these new photography hacks and if they really work. Let's check them out. All right, I don't know if your YouTube feed looks like mine, but it seems like every other day there's new photography hacks. So I figured to start the year off, let's check out some of these photography hacks and see if they actually work. So we got a bunch of them we're gonna try. We're gonna try the, the colander trick. Um, we're not gonna wear it on my head. That's like, it's like alien and um, tinfoil hats. We're not gonna do that, but we're gonna see if we can use it to create some cool images. Uh, we're gonna shoot through some cellophane. Let's stay here. We're gonna see if we can use some cellophane, uh, uh, saran wrap, cellophane, pantyhose. So we've got a bunch of little uh, hacks that we're gonna try and see if we can actually make some uh, real images out of them and see if they stand up to the test. So let's go. First thing we're gonna do, uh, by the way, is we're gonna start off with um, a little Ziploc bag. Uh, see if we can uh, make something magical here. Something worth noting. I am by no, I don't care what the results are, by the way. So I have no idea what these are gonna look like. I don't care what the results are. I am not advocating that you go onto an entire photo shoot and you shoot through a Ziploc bag. We probably gotta bleep that out. But we're not uh, advocating you shoot through the whole shoot. It's something to create a little bit more fine art, it's something different in your portfolio, right? So have that in the back of your head. Experiment, have fun. Your photographers, your artists, make some art. Let's do it. So a little kind of equipment check, what we're doing here. I'm using a 50 millimeter prime uh, from Canon and I'm also using the R5. You can use any camera setup you want. I chose 50 versus an 85 because I wanted, I needed to have elements around it. I didn't want to be so tight on her. Um, again, I have no idea what's going to look right, what's not. So the first thing we're going to do is this uh, bag. We're going to put it over the lens. Uh, and I am going to photograph this at 1.2. And I'm not looking, by the way, to get this perfectly flat um, because I think you need the crinkle in it all. Is that a... Is that an actual photography term, crinkle? Yeah, okay, we'll go with it, the, uh, the crinkle. So let's take, a little, let's take a little shot. So Anna, I'm gonna have you looking right out here. Love that. Ooh, I do like this. Uh, I'm just gonna talk you guys through it. Here we go, one, two. I do like this because it's giving it this, it almost looks like Vaseline. Some of you photographers probably have no idea what I'm talking about, but back in the day, if you wanted this like blurry feel to your images, photographers would put Vaseline uh, over their lens. Seems archaic in this moment, but it's giving me that look, that feel, or as the kids like to say, I'm vibing Vaseline, right? Did I say it right? Did I say it right? Anna, did I say it right? Why are you laughing at me like I'm an old person? I said old people things? All right, the Facebook. Okay, lean on that elbow for me. Yep, I love that. Now let this hand touch this here. Love this, Anna. So at first blush here, I do like what this is giving me. It's a very moody, uh, portrait. Stay there. One, two. Love that. Now I'm going to do something uh, a little bit different uh, with this. I'm going to go to like, uh, let's go to five, six. Let's see if it changes what everything looks like here. Oh, and it does. Okay. So this is interesting. This is one of those things that this is what I'm saying. You got to experiment with. So the one thing worth noting, and again, I'm just talking through this at one, two, whatever you put over that lens is just going to be kind of muted, soft, blurry. But if you want to see the detail, like in the crinkle, uh, you've got to shoot it at about five, six, maybe four. Oh, you can get through it. Uh, but it definitely looks completely different here. So let me go. I'm at five, six now. And you're seeing this looks a little bit different like this though. Here we go. One, two, one, two. Okay. That was fun. I like it. All right. It's a cool trick. I would say ding. we'll use this one. All right. So that one's definitely a winner. I would have that in my bag. I would definitely use that. All right. So let's go to, let's shoot through some pantyhose. Let's see what we get there. All right. So let's get the pantyhose for this one. Why don't you sit like very like queen like, so get your butt all the way back in the chair. That's forward. We'll work on this all day. <laughs> all right, hey, I see you're watching the video. You must be enjoying it. Throw us some love, man. Subscribe to the channel so we can keep doing stuff like this. Do it. All right, so for this one, we have uh, kind of sheer red uh, pantyhose. We're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna shoot this at one, two, see what it looks like, uh, and then shoot it at like five, six, see what that looks like. My guess, we'll see when we shoot it, is this is just gonna give it kind of a red, color wash uh, over the image, but we'll see what it looks like. So same thing here, 
I'm gonna pull this over the lens. You know, the cool thing here is with your with your lenses, um, with the new cameras we have today, what you see is what you get. This is really interesting, uh, what I'm seeing. And a look out that window, yeah, right there. That's really cool. I mean, it's just funky. It gives it a really vintagey uh, wash over the image. Let's see, I'm gonna keep working this. I'm overexposing a little bit too. To, let's see here. Keep looking there, Anna. Look out there. Well, that's really interesting. Anna looking right at me, chin to me. More right there, right at the lens. Chin down. Chin this way. Right there. I'm overexposing this. I'm overexposing it a full stop. Watch your blinking. Beautiful. Go out that window again. Yeah, I like that right there, Anna. Beautiful, beautiful. Right there. Perfect. Okay, so that was that one, two. I, it, it's, it's cool. Not overly impressed yet because I feel like I can just add a color layer in Photoshop and call it a day. But all right, let's keep going. I'm going to try and shoot this at 5.6. See if this looks any different here. Okay, test shot. Doesn't look any different at 5.6. There's probably not enough, um, you know, detail in this for it to make any different. So, this is a fail. I don't like it. It's stupid. All right, let's go on to the next one. Next one, another pair of pantyhose. Just for the record, so we're all clear, these are not mine. I don't have these. I don't, maybe if I was robbing a bank, uh, something like that, I'd wear it over my head, but uh, they're not mine. So oh, just, 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 just so we're clear. Yeah, I guess so. I'm just trying to put everything on top of my head. All right, so let's do the same thing here with this. Let's start at 5'6 uh, on these. Uh, and my thought process is, right, these are a little bit more, there's more texture uh, in here, so it's not sheer. So the first one, again, it's cool, you saw the results, but it's not, uh, it's just not something I'd wanna have in my bag and, uh, and work with uh, to create anything. It, it just doesn't really make any sense to me. So for this one, same thing, and I, I don't want it perfect, so I'm gonna shoot this again at five, six. Let's see what this is looking like. Chin down, Anna, right there, beautiful, one, two. So this is interesting, so now, I am getting some of that detail. Uh, it's, look, it's showing up as texture. So you have to think about where you're pointing this. So let's go to like, let's go to F. I'm gonna go to F11. Now as I go up right and do that stuff, I've gotta adjust my ISO. So I'm at F11. F11, 3200, here we go. Anna looking out that window, right there, one, two. Ooh, okay, stay there. So now we're seeing the texture. Uh, it's got that diamond pattern. So this is pretty interesting now, okay. It's my, it's my uptick into the winter column. Not sure yet, let's see if we can perfect it. Yep, that's pretty cool, stay there, Anna. Beautiful, one, two, chin down. That's kind of cool, it's different. Stay there, let's see what it looks like on a tighter shot. Very cool. I think, I think this one's a winner. Let's give it the ding, ding, it's a winner, okay. What else we got? So the fourth hack was to shoot through a wool sweater. So let's see what that looks like. I think it's gonna be the same thing with the texture, but let's see if we like it. All right, so let me take this picture with no, uh, Anna looking out that window, with nothing there, just so we have a base image so you can kind of see what we're looking at. It's a very cool image, right? With the uh, wool sweater, you know, we're looking through, looking for something to shoot through uh, where we can get something interesting, right? So something that's got uh, at least bigger gaps in it. So I see that gap there. Let's put this over the lens. Now this is really interesting here. Yeah, I'm having trouble finding her. So F11, let's get this here. It's 
find it's about finding that hole really this is actually very difficult you got to have there's got to be a hole that we can get focused so we've got that pull that for me out just trying to stretch this out Stay out that window, Anna. Yeah, pretty much. This sucks. This is stupid. This is stupid. It's a stupid hat. Not having it. So you're seeing what I'm getting. Like I cannot find her in the hole at F11. I know it sounds horrible, but she wasn't in the hole. Can't use it. It is what it is. All right, let's go to the colander hack here. Now, normally the way I've seen this done is like in studio, dark room, and you're firing a strobe through it. I've also seen it done outdoors, harsh sunlight. Well, today, as luck would have it here in Florida, there is no direct sunlight. It's a very foggy, overcast day, so that's not gonna work. So what I'm gonna do is just to kind of prove this out is we're gonna take um, a Westcott FJ80. Uh, I, I'm gonna try snooting it, see what that looks like and then uh, fire through that. Again, this is just something you're trying to do for creative style portraits. So let's see what it looks like. All right, so we got this little melon, uh, metal colander. We already use it in our house uh, last night. We had a little, little pasta in there, um, but I digress. But we're gonna shoot through this and we're using an FJ80. So just probably a typical speed light that you might have. Uh, the trick though is using it with a snoot. Uh, so we have a snoot on it. And the reason for that is, is you don't want light spill everywhere. You really want to kind of funnel that light uh, into this. Uh, and then that's gonna, in theory, should create a pattern. I'm shooting, I switched lenses. Uh, I have an 85 millimeter and I'm gonna shoot it at 5.6. Let's see what that looks like. We're gonna be right there. Now, you're gonna have to experiment with this just so you know, like to get the pattern you want, because the further you go away or the closer you go, it's gonna generate a different pattern. And by the way, different colanders, different patterns. Uh, so I have this about uh, six inches away and it's gonna fire a pattern right on her. So let's take our test shot, see what it's looking like. Don't worry about your pose or anything, Anna. Let's just see if we like what we're getting here. So my five, six, one, two hundredth of a second, test shot. That is really funky. So that's our first test shot uh, you're seeing. Um, but that's funky. It gives us a nice cool pattern on, on the wall. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to give it the check mark, the ding, the yes, but we're not there yet for a winner. But yeah. Beautiful, Anna. Here we go. One, two. Hold that. Here we go. One, two. Beautiful. One, two. Last one. One, two. Let me see you looking that way. Face is perfect, bring your eyes back. Maybe at the, back. yeah, right there, right there, right there. There we go, one, two. Love that, Anna. One, two. Stunning. That's a winner, I love it. That's super fun to work with. Just practicality challenge though, like how many times are you gonna be on a photo shoot traveling around with your uh, colander. Like, I, I just don't see that as practical, right? You're like, hey, hand me the 50 millimeter lens and grab the colander while you're there, right? So it's a cool hack. I really do like it. It's fun. It's something different. Uh, could probably even have some fun with it with uh, gels. <sighs> Bonus hack. Let's do it. There it is. All right, Westcott. Get our gels easily in there. Throw our snoot on top of that. We're ready for action. All right, let's try it. So no changes, no exposure changes. I want to be about that far there. And we got a yellow gel on it. Give me that same pose. Beautiful, stay there with it. Test shot, one, two. Ooh, okay. Okay, bonus hack. Here we go, looking right at me. Here we go, right there. Beautiful, looking away to your left again. Let that chin go more. Actually, I'm gonna turn your upper body this way. Yep, love that, upper body, too much. Come back, right there, beautiful. And chin goes this way, more, more, more. Follow your eyes towards maybe the back of Ellie's head. Right there. Beautiful, right there. Here we go, one, two. 
stay there. Here we go. One, two. Sneak a peek at camera. Chin down. One, two. One, two. Beautiful. That's fun. All right. So that's fun. All right. Well, okay. Whatever. We got one more hack, but I forget what it is. The zoom. The zoom. All right. So what we're going to do is we are going to uh, shoot in zoom at the same time. Again, just for a different kind of effect. So I do have to switch my lens on this. Uh, I am going to switch to the Canon uh, RF 2870 uh, for this. You can do a 2470, something where you can just kind of like snap in and uh, zoom, right? So let's get this. Uh, 2870. So what I'm going to try and do, just so you understand, is uh, I'm going to slow down the shutter speed. Uh, the picture should be a little blurry. That's what you're looking for. Uh, so I'm gonna go to ISO low, right? On most of your cameras, it's ISO 50. If you're a Canon shooter, it's in your extended menu settings. I'm sure there's a video on YouTube that'll explain that to you. Nikon supports it, Sony supports it. You basically wanna get your ISO as low as possible, right? Because I wanna slow down the shutter speed. I probably wanna slow down the shutter speed to about a 10th of a second, 15th of a second, so that we can kind of zoom in. And the, the, the movement you want, right, is gonna be something like this. And you just want to get that kind of zoom, right? And if you want to get good at this, you got to do, it's like anything else. You got to do three sets a day uh, of 10, right? Three sets of 10 every day and that'll, you'll, you'll be a better zoomer. All right, so like I said, 2870 and you need something in the foreground to make it more interesting or it's just going to look like a blurry picture. So what we're going to do is uh, we got two sets of fake flowers. You could shoot through literally anything and give it that effect. Um, and we're going to put flowers on each side of the lens. And I'm now going to, to give you my settings. I'm at F9, ISO low. Now, don't try and recreate my settings. What you really wanna do is create um, a shutter speed that's about a half a second. That's gonna give you enough time to kind of punch in here. So let's get going with this. One, two. And it's just a subtle zoom. The more you zoom, the more blurry it will be, which could be a cool effect as well. Get you. Now remember, with this, you're just trying to create something that has a fine art effect. All right, it's not necessarily going to be the picture. You're just looking for one frame in here. I think this is a cool hack. Perfect. This is super cool. I like it. This one gets a win. All right, well, there you go. There's uh, some new hacks for you in 2023. Let me know which uh, hack is your favorite down in the comments. If you like this video, support the channel, subscribe to it, give us a like, give us a shout out down in the comments and uh, so that we can produce more videos like this. We'll see you in the next one.